Welcome into 2016 Football Media Day here at Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City, Kansas. Please be joined by the starting quarterback of the uh, UCO Broncos, TJ Ecker. Yes, TJ, thanks for joining us. Not a problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just getting going, you know, with with everything that the Broncos football team went through, uh, you know, it should be an exciting year for you guys this year. Yeah, we're really excited. Uh, you know, coming off of the uh, the end of last season, won seven of our last eight games. So that was big for us, a uh, big, big confidence builder going into the offseason. It's a lot better going into the offseason on a win than it is on a loss. You have stuff to build for for the next season. The year before, you know, we go 8-3, and three, had a great year, losing the bowl game. So that's kind of a sour taste in your mouth when you go into the offseason. This year, you know, we beat Southwestern in our bowl game. Um, five, five straight wins now. We're riding that going into the offseason. And so everybody's been really excited. The, had probably the best summer turnout we've had since I've been here. Um, had a bunch of guys on campus working out and going through things. So it was nice, and we're really excited to get going. Now, stepping away a little bit from the football field, uh, we talked a little bit about this just a second ago, but uh, we're, you're a big golfer as well? Love it. Addicted. I am, I am a huge golfer. I played in, I think, five, five tournaments this summer. So I find, found a way to fit that in along with working out and internships and all that stuff. Was uh, uh, what was the best round that you shot in the in those tournaments? I think I shot well. I shot a 73 in one of the tournaments, um, but I was all I was right around the mid 70s for the most part. I had a couple rounds where I don't want to talk about them on air, but you know for the most part I was right in, right in the same area about 75, 76 range. So now and and you're a left-handed golfer though too. That's right. Is That's it right. a little bit different than uh, throwing the ball right-handed? It's a little different. Um, you know, uh, you said you're left-handed as well. Yep. So, uh, so you know, as m just as much as I do, when I walk on the driving range, you're going to have one or two guys that are going to say, hey, man, you're staying on the wrong side of the ball. Well, or no, we're you. not. Yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not. And, uh, but, uh, you know, my dad threw left-handed and hit right-handed. And so I'm a mirror image of him. And so I throw right and hit left. The only things I do left-handed are hit baseballs and golf balls. I can't do anything else left-handed. I'm, I'm all righty. Pretty much the same way with me too, yeah. and and you just mentioned your dad. Uh, your dad was a minor league ball player uh, with right. the Yankees. Uh, talk a little bit about growing up with, uh, you know, with a with an athletic family. Yeah, you know that was really cool. Um, I was a big baseball player growing up. Still love baseball. Uh, I was going to play some in college if I could, um, but it was it was cool being able to tell your friends that your dad was a professional baseball player. No matter how long he played in the league or no matter how long he how high up he got, just saying that your dad's a professional baseball player is cool. And uh, we talked about it, and I'll let everybody else know. His big claim to fame is getting drafted before Mike Piazza, who just mm -hmm. got elected in the Hall of Fame. So um, I'm not going to try to feed his ego too much, but, <laughs> but I will say that for him. So, no, it's, it's really cool. Not a lot of kids can say their dad played a professional sport. So. Not a, I certainly know my dad can. <laughs> hey, professional, uh, let's see. All right, hold on. We're going to we'll, we'll keep going with it. All right, you ready? Uh, hey, you want to be in broadcasting too, don't that's you? That's right, yeah, yeah. That's exactly okay, right. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Uh, you seem a little. You seem pretty uh, camera camera friendly <laughs> here with the camera. Uh, all that. Sports broadcaster in your future, maybe. That, that's the goal. That's the goal. I interned at uh, News Nine as a CBS affiliate in, in Oklahoma City, and that was awesome. I worked in the sports department. Uh, Dean Blevins is the sports guy there. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of fun with him. Great, great connection to have. Met a lot of really cool people in there. Um, he let me do a couple practice casts, so that was sweet. I'll be able to put that on like a resume reel. So yeah. That's the goal right now. Um, if I can't be a professional golfer. I'm going to try to be on TV, be a sports broadcaster. So, Hey, look for him in a few years, either on the TV reporting the news or <laughs> being on the golf course. Yeah, he is right. quarterback of the Central Oklahoma Broncos, TJ Eckert, joining us here for the MIAA Media Network. I'm Jason Katz.